Evening everyone, Harsh here. Want to learn how to do the Paris Showstopper mission in Hitman? Silent Assassin, Suit Only, Default Loadout, Default Starting Location, No Knockouts, and No Glitches in 2 minutes and 1 second? I got you covered. Let's do this. Alright, as soon as we start the level, we're going to want to skip the cutscene as early as possible. That's because people in the level still move around whilst the cutscene is happening, and we want to get as far ahead of Dahlia's route as we can, or the second assassination won't work. As we enter the front door, Victor should start to walk down the stairs. What we're going to do is throw a coin at the wall when he steps to the exact centre of the staircase. He will hear the coin and he will send his bodyguard to investigate it, leaving Victor alone on the staircase underneath the chandelier, which will be understandably important in a moment. After that, we're going to move into this hallway and bump into this man because I'm an idiot and I forgot where I was going. The real door you should be heading towards is the one here, and behind it is two guys who we're going to distract with a coin. As soon as they look away, this will give us a perfect opportunity to open the door to my right and get a free shot on the chandelier. Hey, you heard that? Check it out. Victor's dead. Time to find Dahlia Margot. So, now our next task is to find Victor's chopper for our escape, which we'll do by heading past the outside bar and towards the courtyard area. At this point, you're probably wondering, hold on, Hosh, don't you have another target to assassinate before heading towards the extraction point? And you are absolutely right, but the thing is, I can actually kill Dahlia pretty much from the chopper. And for the sake of saving time, it's better for me to do that than to waste travel time unnecessarily. So we're going to run behind these two statues and then run up behind this guy who's walking away from us down this path. Just before we get to him, we're going to dip into the hedge on our left, which should take us to the helicopter. And we can start to set up the second assassination, which I've taken to calling the window bang chandelier drop, because it sounds cool. As soon as the two guards to the right start walking away, we are ready to line up the shot that will kill Dahlia, which is up here. Now, I don't know if you can see what I'm aiming at here as I mix these videos down in 1080p. You might be able to, but if you can't, just trust me that I'm about to shoot a chain connected to a chandelier that will fall on Dahlia. And she's gone. And so are we. And that is the entirety of the Paris Showstopper mission. Silent Assassin suit only, with a default loadout, default starting location, no knockouts and no glitches in two minutes and one second. And we get to watch a cool cutscene for our reward. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. This game has some cool looking cutscenes, I have to admit. Anyway, let's have a look at the challenges I've unlocked for this run. These are all the ones you can expect to get. Which, as you can tell, is quite a lot of them. It's almost enough to get to level 6 straight from the off. Which is rather a lot of unlocks. I apologise about how fast my commentary was throughout all of that. As it turns out, doing a spoken walkthrough of a speedrun tends to be quite pressing on time, so you have to speak rather quickly. 
Nevertheless, there is the silent assassin rating, never spotted, no notice kills, no bodies found, no recordings, and of course, that time of two minutes and one second. I know I'm gonna get asked about the no bodies found bit. How is that possible when you drop chandeliers on their heads whilst surrounded by people? And that's because of how this game works. Um, if you kill a target by poison or by accident, uh, everybody assumes that it is not your fault. Therefore, it doesn't get added to your body's found count. And you can get away with it even when people find the bodies, which is pretty useful. I don't think you can get this much quicker than this, and there's a reason for that. Uh, you have to wait for Dahlia to position herself underneath the chandelier uh, regardless of what happens during the run. So as long as you get ahead of her, getting any quicker ahead of her is just going to net you having to wait by the chopper a little bit longer so she can put herself in the position where you can kill her with the chandelier. Uh, so really the only time you can save is after the second shot uh, whilst you're running towards the chopper. And what you can do, I suppose, is get up and run towards it with your gun holstered rather than crouch run towards it like I did. At which point you could probably save a few seconds, get to 159, maybe 158. Other than that, uh, I don't think you can get much faster with this strategy. Uh, you'll have to use a different one to get faster than that, or some techniques that I'm unaware of. Uh, I should probably qualify that I am not a speedrunner. This is the first game I have ever sped ran, as it were, and it is really really good fun i am really getting into it i don't know why it's this game but this game has really grabbed me and made me want to work out what the fastest ways of getting around the levels are so expect more videos like this in the future because i'm definitely going to uh, attack at least all the levels in this game and probably all the levels in the new hitman coming up as well uh, until then thank you very much for watching posh out